Do you constantly get tricked into falling for a guy before you realize all of his horrible character flaws? Don't you wish those men would just be upfront with you about who they really are so that you wouldn't even bother messing with him in the first place? Well, lucky for you, on today's show, we're going to be discussing what you must know about him before it's official. That way, you know exactly how to get him to reveal his true character to you. That way, you don't end up giving your mind, body, and soul to the wrong man. So let's get started with number one, filtered versus unfiltered. If you were going to be in a forest and you're trying to drink some good water that will keep you alive, not get you sick, you're going to be looking for the ways in which you can filter water. So by boiling it, getting the bacteria out of it. And if you drink unfiltered water, it's going to hurt you because even if it looks clear, it can still have a lot of uh, bacteria and residue from sewers, all these different things that could hurt you by ingesting it. If you don't go through the proper steps of filtrating the water before you drink it, then you'll never actually know if what you're ingesting is going to hurt you until it begins hurting you. It's the same thing with the guys that you're dating. The most important thing for you when you meet someone brand new and you start going out on dates with them is to understand the ways in which he is not perfect and figure out if that's something that you can work with or if that's something you automatically know yeah I, I can't work with that one of the most important pieces of residue you need to be looking out for on your very first dates what is the status of your last relationship see you can never build a relationship with someone who is emotionally unavailable. Why? Because that man can't properly invest himself into you because he's actively invested into another woman. You're going to realize it on these first couple of dates before you invest months or years of your life into him. And when you realize that, you'll say to yourself, thank you very much, sir. I'm so glad you shared this information with me and I'm going to take myself far away from you because you are not at all ready emotionally. That's such a win for you because the quicker you can realize that that's way less time spent wasted on someone who is not emotionally invested in you. The most important tool in your tool belt and resource that you have is always information because is the only thing that allows you to make good decisions based on the information that you have in hand now number two i want you to understand before it's official whether he is living his life like a maze or living his life like a path when you're entering a maze there's a whole bunch of different options and places to go you can go left right up and sometimes you end up in a dead end and the maze can become so confusing that you'll end up just going in circles not realizing that you haven't actually made any progress towards anything how someone does life is how they'll do relationships. What you need to be doing is extracting information in ways that he doesn't know you're extracting information. You need to be understanding what he wants out of his own life. If you try to ask him and get a better understanding of what he wants out of his own life and his response is, I don't, I don't really know. I'm kind of just working odd jobs to make some money here and there. And, you know, if something better comes up, then I'll do something better. That is the key to understanding he ain't going to have no sort of intention when it comes to your relationship. The men who cannot be intentional about their life will never be able to be capable of being intentional with you in the relationship. On the opposite side of the spectrum, you want to understand if he's living his life like a path, meaning if he knows where his destination is going to be is it's amazing to be with men who are intentional about their life because they're only going to have the desire to build something with you if they can also identify within you that you have the character traits and qualities that they're looking to build something long term with you need to be hyper aware if the man you're dating is moving forward in a path or if he's just living his life in a maze because if he's living his life in a maze, he's going to grab your hand and you're going to be following him around for years in a maze. Now, number three, counterfeit or crumpled. When you meet people for the first time and you start trying to build relationships with them, of course, 
you're never going to meet someone who is perfect. You're also not perfect. You also have your own ways of going about things. Not all the time are the things that are character flaws or personality flaws or quirks about him will necessarily be things that just absolutely can't work for you. I'll give you an example. Let's just say in an extreme sense, you're someone who has like neat freak OCD and you literally will freak out if everything is not absolutely puff, spotless and put in its place. For someone like you, a deal breaker might be, uh, you know what, I'm a little bit messy that I can't really, you know, put things away all the time. So that's one of my things. And you know, you literally can't fathom the idea of some underwear being on the floor. And he's telling you he's a pretty messy person. That's a sign to you that these character flaws or personality traits about him are things that will not work for you. Now, vice versa, if you're someone who just says, you know, I would like to live a clean in a clean house in a clean environment. But honestly, there are times in my own life where I get stressed out. And you know, sometimes I don't always clean the best. And someone else, let's say for the sake of argument on a date with you, lets you know that, yeah, you know, sometimes they can be a bit messy, but they usually don't let things get too far gone. You might say to yourself, oh, I mean, being messy, of course, isn't ideal, but it's not a deal breaker for me. You then need to be deciding for yourself based on what you want. Are these something that, you know, just make you a little bit rough around the edges or are these things something that makes you absolutely not who I'm looking for? When you go to the bank, if you are going to give the bank some dollar bills, uh, there's nothing necessarily wrong with giving them a bunch of crumpled, dirty dollar bills. The bank teller at the bank is still going to accept your dollar bills, even though they're crumpled, they're dirty, they're mashed up. However, even if those bills are clean and pristine, if you hand the bank teller monopoly money, the bank teller is not going to accept monopoly money. And this is where you have to step in for yourself and start asking yourself, what are the most important values to you? What are you seeking out in a partner? If you need to write these things down in a book, then do that. But the quicker you can realize that, the quicker you can realize is the person that's sitting in front of me that I'm on a date with, are they counterfeit? Or are they just a little rough around the edges and crumpled up a little bit? Now, number four, is he tamed or un? tamed. Now, I know that men aren't wild animals, even though they might seem that way sometimes. When you're dating a man and you're trying to build a relationship, one of the most important things that you should be hyper aware of is whether or not he understands how to control his emotions. Your man as the masculine energy is not meant to be a force in your life that is like this because you need to have the space as the feminine energy to be up one day and down in the dumps the next day. And you need someone that's more stable to be able to balance you out. So here's a great question uh, to ask a guy to get a gauge of if he's capable of understanding how to manage and maintain his emotions. Not that he doesn't feel emotions. So explain to me when you're upset and you're angry about something, uh, let's say, you know, someone does something to you that you don't appreciate, or you feel disrespected in your relationship, for example, how would you best like to be dealt with? Do you want me to sit down and talk to you? Do you want me to wait for you? Do you want me to just be quiet? If he's tamed, he'll be able to communicate to you how he likes to be dealt with when he is in that heightened emotional state. And he'll also be able to communicate to you how he deals himself with his own anger. A man who is untamed will not have any strategy for being able to maintain or keep his emotions level. He will flip out, he'll go crazy, and you'll never know how to deal with him because all of your fights will escalate to a point you never imagined they could go. There's a difference between masking your emotions and managing your emotions sleeping with someone is masking your emotions going to the club is masking your emotions drinking that is masking your emotions dealing with your emotions and learning how to manage them is oh i go to the gym or i go for a walk or I run. All the things that are maintaining and managing will always be looking inward. All the things that are masking will always be looking externally to have something else take control of them so they don't have to think about it or deal with the situation. And number five, the reason for the season. It needs to be hyper clear to you. Two things. First of all, that he's aware of why his relationships haven't worked out in the past. And he's also aware of what he contributed to his relationships not working out in the past. 
let's say for the sake of argument, he said that me and my ex, we were really toxic because she had such an anxious attachment style and she was so clingy. I literally couldn't get a break from her. So I ended up just going out to the club and drinking with my boys and I wouldn't tell her and I wouldn't come home and I just needed my space. In the process of him telling you why his relationship ended, you start to hear a lot of similar patterns in him being with someone who's really anxiously attached. And when they push forward towards him and they really try to smother him, he starts to rebel against that, go out with his boys. And then you think to yourself, oh, I'm just as anxiously attached. Oh, I get really nervous when a guy doesn't text me every five minutes. I wonder the types of problems we're going to face in our relationship. If someone tries to tell you when they're sitting on a date with you that the reason for the season and the reason that I'm single is all other people's fault, please call the waiter over and ask him for uh, a takeaway box, pack your entire meal in there, and please run as fast as you can. That is a clear sign that you're dealing with someone with no accountability that will never be able to acknowledge doing anything wrong in your relationship. You can't do anything with those people. Please run away from those people.